Well, with tomorrow being the final showdown between longtime rivals Ryder High and Old High, many alum and faculty are reflecting on their various memories from years past. And then, of course, our very own Jalen Wells got to talk with one band director about his legacy with the school and its students throughout the years. Jalen, in Ryder's final year, what will Lloyd Studer most remember? Well, Lloyd Studer says that for him, while helping students learn the valuable lessons of life is most important, he will most remember the camaraderie between everyone involved with the school. Here's a reflection on Ryder Band's final year. The Ryder Old High game invokes a lot of different energy and emotions for a lot of Texomans, especially with this year being the final matchup between the two schools. And that applies to both young people, older people, and especially for Lloyd Studer, Ryder High School's band director. So like the first place I ever went besides church when I was a newborn was the Ryder Old High game. You know, my first birthday party was thrown by the senior class at Ryder. Like many people, Studer has vivid memories of the games on the gridiron and specifically recalls the sounds of the instruments in the stands. So I loved going Friday night by school, but the pinnacle of the week, right? Like, you know, you get to go and, you, like, it, I just remember driving up to Memorial City and getting out of the car and hear the band. Studer left the Texoma area after college, but ended up coming back and joining the Ryder High Band program, where he imagined he would remain for longer than the time that will be allotted. I thought my job here would be to be caretaker, and I'd pass it on to the next person, and and um, that's how it would go one day, and, uh, you know, now things are different. As circumstances changed, Studer nearly decided to leave the school before his final year, but that plan changed courses as well. And I think one of the questions people always assume or ask in Wichita Falls is like, well, what'd they give you to stay here? Well, here's what they gave me. They gave me the opportunity to finish a place off that I love. With the days numbered, Studer reminds his students of the importance of building a future and legacy, not just earning shiny objects. Because you like look around, you realize none of this is going to be here. And we always tell the kids, the tr it's not about the trophies. Trophies are just a piece of wood and a piece of metal. It's about the process. And if you do the right thing every day, it'll take care of itself. Um, but I think my legacy um, that, that, I, that I'm most proud of is all of the kids that have gone on. Our kids are doing great things. Some of those kids from years past actually found their way back. When I came to Ryder, I uh, really fell in love with band. I loved the program. I loved all the friends that I made and, and, and just all the opportunities that you get in band. Thomas Borgman is a Ryder alum who found Ryder's band to be a personal development that shaped his personality and work ethic. Early on in my life, when I first started music and, and, and getting into band, it, it was, I think, developing a sense of character, um, a sense of, of, of respect, you know, for, for other people. And then as a band director, um, you know, developing my hard work and my, my, my work ethic has, has been has been maybe the biggest lesson that I've learned is that it, it takes a lot of work to do the job. It's fun work, but it is a grind. <laughs> From morning band practices to Friday night halftime performances and concert showcases, Studer says this final swan song for the Ryder High Band is going to be both sentimental and full of spirit. You know, we're just, we're a band, but we try to show, like for us, one family, one team is, is, is the motto of the school, and we really mean that. You can't boil it down into one thing. I think that, that, that's what's so cool about our whole community is the Texas spirit. In my final conversation with Studer, I asked him about what he's looking forward to after this. And he said, of course, continuing music at another school and being with his family. But he's also planning and orchestrating a new finale song for this year. So there's something that the writer alum, current students, and just fans in general can look forward to for this year. Absolutely, something super sentimental and just still a lot of surprises to come and, and memories to be made. And I know that they are looking forward to that as well. Especially <laughs> these hometown traditions. I know everybody's so excited about it. And the band, they certainly add the icing on the cake. So it'll be thank very you again, musical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that report, Jalen. We appreciate it. All